Hi, my name is Gromi, Ikebana instructor in Tokyo. Today, I would like to use hydrangea. Hydrangeas are incredible. Such a beautiful color. And I'll show you how to last hydrangea longer with the powder allen. And today, I'm going to use this tall, narrow flower vase. I got this flower vase a long time ago from Ikea. And I'm not going to use any kind of utensils like Kenzan today. And this arrangement is called Nageire. In Sogetsu, we have three methods to fix stems and flowers. Today, I will use one of the methods called Jumonji Dome, cross bars fixtures. We use stems for this method, and I think this is the easiest way in these three methods. Let's begin. First, we're going to cut two stems. We call these stems komi and I'm going to make this stem a little bit longer than the inner diameter of this flower base. And this crossbar fixture, we make a crossbar inside the flower base. So, I need to make this in the right length so it fits inside the flower base. And one side I'm going to cut it straight and other side I'm going to cut at an angle. And cut another one at the same length too. And other one we also cut one side straight and other side at an angle. So one side straight, another side is an angle. Can you see? Pull the piece lower than the rim of the flower base and make the slant side facing down and press the slant cut toward the inner wall and when it's too long cut them a little by little And I'm going to put it like this and in inside. So I just put it like this. I just put it like this and in inside. I put the piece near the mouse around here and in inside. And I'm going to put another piece and I'm going to put this piece below the first one. This time I'm going to put it this way so it, I can make a crossbars. And I'm facing this slant cut upside. And I just made the crossbar, can you see? When you finish putting these crossbars, try to lift up the flower base by holding these two pieces, like this. So when it's like this, it's ready to use. And if they move and you couldn't lift it up very well, um, try to rearrange another crossbars and make sure it's very stable. And if you couldn't make this um, crossbar, don't worry. Um, you can use the wires, which are very easy to bend. And you can put this inside the flower base and you can insert the stems by using this wire. But I think this crossbar is much easier to use for the Nagaida. Uh, today, I'm going to 
arrange a um, freestyle kebana but based on the basic style. I'm not going to measure the three main stems with a flower base. When we use nageide arrangement, we always cut the flowers and the stems at an angle. And we are going to use this slant cut touch to the inner wall and we also use the crossbar to make them stable like this so it's so inside the flower base we have a crossbar I'm only um, holding one piece so so inside the um, flower base we're going to use the slant cut to touch the inner wall and we're going to make sure the stem touching the crossbar and we're using the two points we're using the two points to fix the stem so when we cut flowers when we think about the length of the flowers and stems we have to think about how much we're going to put inside the flower base we have to cut longer than the one we use the kenzan because we have to put some part inside the flower base so for the hydrangea, we cut them inside the water. Hydrangea, we use the powder allen to last them longer. And after we cut the flower inside the water, we stick this stem inside the powder allen and we coat it with the powder allen. And then we put inside the flower base. I'm going to use this for hikae of the three main stems. Well, I want to change this position to the front. I think it's much better. I'm going to make it 75 degrees to the front. I'm leaning to 75 degrees. So I can show the beautiful hydrangea. And for the longest one, they have many leaves here. So I'm going to take off a few of them. I'm going to cut them inside the water and stick into the powder allen and cut them. And I'm going to put this um, 45 degrees to your side. to put another one around here and I want to make it 15 degrees for the second one I'm going to use this one and I want to make it three-fourths of the longest one so it's about this much and I have to think about how much I'm going to put inside the water. So, I'm going to cut around here. And when you cut it, put them in the powder alum. So about 15 degrees to your right side. And how does it look? I hope it looks good. And for the longest one, I use this base cap one because they feel more light than this one. And this one has many flowers, so it feels heavy, so I put in the center. But now, I want to mix the base cap one and the, this one. After I made this structure, I'm going to put the supporting stems juicy to make the volume and the depth to the arrangement. For these three main stems, I only use the back side of the inner walls of the flower base, but it's better to use the front side inner walls and the side too. So let's insert the juicy. 
but this is beautiful. Let me move it around here. Raised cap one too. So I'm going to put this one around here. And another raised cap on the ranger. I want to put the race cap one in the front. And I want to put another race cap flower around here. Okay, another one around here. Okay, let's take this one. I'm gonna take off the leaves so I can put the flower easily. And cut in the water and put put it in the powder eye. Too much. And then I'm going to put in the front. Okay. And then I'm going to put some more around here to make a death. Cut in the water and put it stick in the eye. Want to show a little bit, not too much. And I'm going to put one more lean to the back side. Okay. So how does it look? I took one of the leaf from here, so I can show the beautiful line here. And I made a mess of the many colors, purple and pink and light blue. Well, how do you like today's arrangement? Maybe the crossbar method was a little bit difficult than using the Kenzan. But I hope you enjoy making the crossbar method because it's very useful if you master it. Well, in Tokyo, the rainy season has started. This weekend we had a very heavy rain. And I don't really like the rainy season, but one thing I like about the rainy season is that the hydrangeas bloom very beautifully. So when you start feeling down because of the rain, making ikebana with a hydrangea will be um, a good thing to do. Thank you for watching.